welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Spencer. Your name is Spencer. So welcome back guys and let's just get on to the video. teenage girl just being a girl being a teenager being a teenage girl um, I get a lot of DMs from you guys asking me questions about boys asking me advice about boys how to get over a boy how to tell if a guy likes you how to tell a guy you like him blah, 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 blah. and I came up with this great idea this morning because I had absolutely nothing to film and I want to post on YouTube every single week so I was like why don't I use those questions? Scramble them all together and put them into a video. So I could stand here right now and tell you some la di da di da advice. No, I ain't sugarcoating it. I'm gonna get straight to the point. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys and try and use my experiences to tell you. How do you tell if a guy likes you? Seems like a very simple question, but it's not. So how to tell if a guy likes you? It's There's a lot of different things and I could do like an actual in deep depth video if you guys want just let me know But how to tell if a guy likes you? So I feel like a lot of guys they do this I don't know if it's just like a natural instinct for them, but they like to like kind of Not push you around but just like be like oh my god, you're such a loser like you know what I mean? And I do that too when I'm flirting with someone. I'll be like, I'm so much stronger than you. You know what I mean? Just like trying to be like, Bleh. they kind of like tease you. And I, I find it cute if a guy teases me. So I think that would be like the number one way to tell if a guy likes you. But some guys also have that personality where they're just flirty and they kind of, like I'm that kind of personality. I am a flirty person. And I'm like a really touchy person. So if I'm talking to someone and my friend, I'll be like touching their arm and be like, oh my God. <laughs> Not really, but not that kind of laugh, <laughs> not that, <laughs> but I'm kind of a touchy person, so that's why it's kind of a hard, a hard thing to do, but can I say, don't play games. If you really like a guy and you want to know if he likes you, ask him. If you're too scared to ask him in person, send him a Snapchat. Another way to tell if a guy likes you is you can ask his friends. So like, I feel like I've played that card before, like I've went to his friends and be like, does he talk about me? Is he into me? Find out what his type is too. But don't change yourself for him either. You know what I mean? If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. Don't slime someone and don't like play them. It's, it's not nice. Playing someone. I've been played. Don't play me. I'm not a violin. You can't play me. Okay. This is the number two question that I always get asked. How do you get over a boy? Seven words. <laughs> and how to get over a boy? It's not that, it's not easy. It's really not. I wish I could tell you, I wish I knew, but I'll give you my advice and what I would do. If I wanna get over a boy, I listen to some music, I have a playlist that's called Boys Really Ain't Shit. And at the end of the day, guys could say girls really aren't shit. We gotta both respect each other, but at the same time, if he's playing you, it's so easy to get over him. That's what I think. Like if a guy played me, 0 0.5 seconds. Why are you ever gonna disrespect me like that? No, you gotta respect yourself more. You gotta have some self-respect there. If he didn't play you or anything, if it's genuinely like, he doesn't like you back, he just does not like you back, he doesn't feel that way, it's really hard to get over him. Because you're just, you kind of question yourself and you're like, am I not good enough? And I'm you know what I mean? Don't question yourself, you shouldn't ever. But if it's just because he doesn't like you back, it's so hard to get over him. But if it's because he played you, Bro, if you played me, I'm gonna forget you even like existed in my life. You don't get to disrespect me. And uh, it's just, you gotta choose yourself first. You know, you gotta at the end of the day be like, I might like you, but I like myself more. I respect you, but I have to respect myself more. If you're actually in a relationship, I love you, 
but I have to love myself more. At the end of the day, this is who I'm with every single day. You, I might see you like once a week or something, every other day, but this is who I have to lay with at the end of the day, at the end of the night, when I'm laying there in bed and thinking, this piece of person right here is who I have to respect the most. Boy advice 101. If he is close with his mom or his dad, if he's close with his parents, probably a good guy. I'd say that. You wanna, someone with motivation, someone who motivates you to do more. And that's all I ever wanna do in a relationship is I'm always trying to motivate the other person, be a better version of themselves. I'm not trying to change them at all. Just like, you wanna do this? You wanna get a 90% on this test? I'm not gonna distract you. I'm gonna tell you, you're so smart. You can do this. I know it. You got it, babe. But some people don't like that. So you gotta understand that you kind of have to talk about what you want out of the relationship and see if you guys want the same thing. Because if you guys don't want the same thing, neither of you are gonna be pleased. Because one person's gonna want like a really long-term relationship, one person's gonna want like a hookup. You know what I mean? Where's the middle of that? I don't know. You know, you gotta kinda just talk about it, see if you guys want the same thing. Um, I'm like a relationship-based person. I'm not like a hookup person at all. I have way too many feelings to do that. Like I'm the most sensitive person I know. <laughs> Actually not the most person I know, but like I'm pretty sensitive. I know someone who's more sensitive, but I'm like a really like feelings based kind of person. So <sighs> that's why if a guy plays with my feelings, I'm like, I would never play with my own feelings. So you don't get to play with mine. <laughs> this is a good one. If a guy ever, 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 makes you question your value, second guess yourself, makes you wonder if you're not good enough for him, if he's too good for you. Thank you, next. Same as, this is for guys too. This is my advice to guys too. If a girl ever makes you second guess yourself, don't. It's not worth it because in the whole relationship then, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I'm not good enough for him. Oh my God, oh my God. What if he leaves me for someone else? What if she leaves me for someone else? Uh, relationships are about trust. Trust and loyalty. If your significant other makes you cry at the end of the day, it's good to cry once, twice, three times, but if you're crying constantly and you're finding yourself being like more unhappy than usual, probably not the best relationship for you because you're probably better off by yourself. Like you're probably happier by yourself hanging out with your friends. If it becomes like a kind of a chore to Snapchat them or a chore to hang out with them, or if you find yourself not wanting to be like, when a guy hits me up, if I'm with a guy or if I'm kind of like really liking a guy or something, if a guy hits me up on Snapchat, I'll be like, no, sorry, I'm not interested. Like I have a boyfriend right away, right away. But if you find yourself not talking about the person as much, maybe you're really not that into them. I'm really not that into you. Imagine someone saying that to you. It's a reality. <laughs> it happens. It's happened. And at the end of the day, I think about this. The first boy I ever cried about was in grade eight. Where is he now? Where? I don't know. Do I freaking wake up at night every night being like, oh my God. You'll cry about lots of boys, trust me. This is my number one advice ever. You have to, have to, have to love yourself first. If you don't love yourself, how is someone else gonna love you? Point blank, so obvious. If you do not love yourself and respect yourself and know your values, know what your intentions are, how is someone else gonna love you? Kind of deep, man. Just recently, I was watching the Hannah Montana movie, actually. And this was when Travis was breaking up with Miley. And he said to her, he said, I would never treat you like this. And I never thought of that before. I don't know why, but I was watching this last night, actually, with my friends. And when I heard that, I was like, that's so true. In a relationship, like, if you would never, ever, ever dare to disrespect the person like that or treat them like that, why are you gonna let them treat you like that? You know what I mean? Like, I 
would never treat you like this. Why are you treating me like that? End it. Um, another question that I got was, how do you tell a guy that you like him? Tell him, just do it, straight up. I'm the most obvious person I know. I will tell a guy, I've told a guy, multiple times when I went to him, and I feel like you don't gotta play games. Like some people are like, make him jealous. Send him a Snapchat that you actually meant to send for someone else. If you wanna send him a photo of you looking cute as hell, being like, wanna hang out? Send it to him. Don't send it to him and be like, oh my God, I'm sorry, wrong person. <laughs> Cause then that just makes you look like you're not into him at all. Like I don't, I never understood that. Why would I send someone a Snapchat being like, um, no, sorry, I can't hang out this weekend or something. Because then I look like I'm talking to other guys and why is he gonna be like, oh, maybe she does like me. If I look like I'm talking to other guys, that makes no sense to me. Like it literally doesn't add up. I would just say be straightforward with him. People could also tell you different advice, but this is advice from Spencer Rosa. Right here, this piece of meat. Um, be obvious with him, tell him straight up. Say, look man, I don't know if you're into me, but I get these weird feelings that I'm really into you. Okay, don't say weird feelings. Say literally, look man, I don't know if you're into me, but I have this attraction to you and it'd be really sick if we can hang out or um, do you wanna walk me to the bus? Or um, I don't know if you have a girl, but I'd love to be yours. Or you seem like really, you seem like a really good guy. I'd love to hang out with you. So easy, so easy to say that. But I feel like some people try to make the guys jealous or try to look like they already have a guy. Why would you do that if you're into him? <laughs> it makes no sense, no sense. And I've always been the person who's like really obvious, really get to the point, you know what I mean? Cause at the end of the day, if he rejects me, I got myself, you know? Like that's plenty of efficiency. There's what, like 8 billion people in the world. That's the other thing. It's not all about looks because everyone's gonna get old and wrinkly and probably gross. I mean, I see some cute old people and I'm like, oh my God, they're so cute. But like, the high school jock is probably gonna end up being like bald. Nothing wrong with being bald, my dad's bald. <laughs> I don't know, who like gets drunk every Saturday night and watches, I don't even know, Jersey Shore. I was trying to think of the weirdest thing ever. I always thought it was like, yo, what do you look like on the outside? No, trust me. Even if they're pleasing to look out on the outside, if you guys have nothing in common, it's gonna be so boring. You're gonna sit in the car and not even jam to music. Like, why would you wanna do that? I like being in the car and being like, you know? Like, I like having fun. So find someone who matches your personality. And I'm a person who has a lot of energy. So you gotta be able to match it. And no one can. Literally no one can, I'm not even kidding. So I just want you guys so much advice that I don't even follow myself because, I don't know. I'm literally telling you guys how to get a boyfriend and I don't even have a boyfriend. So I hope you enjoy this advice that is also really false advice. Take it if you want. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'm not like a doctor or psychologist or something. So <laughs> I don't know how the boy brain works. It'd actually be a cool video if I could sit down with one of my guy friends and see how the boy brain works. But then again, I don't really have that many guy friends. Oh my, God, my nose is so itchy. I really don't have that many guy friends. Like one. No, I don't, I don't even have one. I don't think I have one that would want to do this video with me. I'll ask my brother. So I hope, 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 hope this video was able to give you some advice on getting a boyfriend and um, how to tell the guy likes you, how to tell the guy you're into him, how to get over a guy, that kind of advice. If you guys have any more advice about boys, comment it down below and I would love, love, love to answer questions. And I would love to answer your questions and I will film it in a second part two of Boy Advice 101. And I'll call it Boy Advice 202. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, but just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed my advice. I hope it helps you because it never helps me. I really hate guys so much. No, I don't. I actually love boys. What am I saying? Can't even lie. Also, my voice is so deep in this video. I don't know why. Love you all. Goodbye. I hope you have the best day ever.